Wrecked him. Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. to go up um, here with my buddy Justin back here getting ready to set up just about ready I got motor warm-up left and that's it I'm gonna walk out to my wing and head up today what we're gonna do is my um, something hour review on the Z blade which is laid out over there can't see it but um, I don't know how many hours I have on it uh, maybe 30 ish hours be. So we're gonna get in the air, cover what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and uh, yeah, see you up there. <clears throat> okay, so just getting ready to launch. Um, Justin just got in the air, find his new free ride. The plan today is fly out to local airport, which for me is about six miles away and we're gonna land there, check it out, and then fly home. I don't know why I like flying places and landing for no reason, but it's appealing. And on the way there, we will do the review. And if the battery lasts, maybe we'll catch a landing on the way back, but I doubt it. Okay, that launch sucked. Um, I don't know if I had a tailwind or what it was. I, I stupidly did not look at the wind stop right before takeoff, even though I knew that the winds are a little bit shifty. They're very light, very light, but they're kind of like moving. And I might have just launched with a tailwind because everything felt great. But when the wing came up, everything felt light. The wing popped up and I ran like I usually run. Um, did everything like I usually do, but my brakes felt really light. So I stepped it up and gave it throttle to increase my speed. I was running at a speed where in nil wind, I would be off the ground and I wasn't. So I had to run a lot further than I wanted to. And then when I got airborne, I was a little deeper in the brakes than I like to be. And I didn't feel the lift. So I had felt that before when I crashed my head on exactly what it felt like. You're in the brake, you're not feeling lift. You do not want to get more brakes. So what I did is I got back out of my seat, but I was foot dragging, and um, I let up on the brakes and let off the throttle a little bit as if I was going to come into a landing. There was a ditch there, so it would have sucked, but I could have came in on my forearm, uh, killed the motor, and slid in. It would have it would have hurt, but I'd have been okay. I wasn't going to try to power through it like I did on the Hadron that one time I crashed. Uh, but anyway, that was, it was spooky. I didn't like it. Um, and again, I don't I always reflect on things like that right away. What could I have done better? Um, really, in that case, I could, should have just checked the windsock because I really think I had a tailwind. I think that's what it was. Beyond that, um, maybe I could have avoided the launch quicker knowing it was a ditch in front of me. Uh, the ditch was way out there, by the way. Um, like I said, I had to run a lot, lot further than I usually do. So uh, just reflecting on it, maybe check the windsock. Or next time, if I feel that lightness in the brakes, just kill the motor if I don't have a ton of room ahead of me at uh, reset. So that's my quick thoughts on that. Let me circle back around and get Justin. He's flying. He's flying his new free ride. Free ride 21 meter. Sexy colors. And uh, he's got a good deal on it. He likes it. A good looking wing. All right. So caught back up to him. I'm trying to get him to come follow me this way. There we go. All right. So. I usually am unprepared for this, but I made notes today. So, Z-Blade review. So I did an initial impression video on this link above, but um, 
I'll just say that any wing review you watch, you got to take it for what it is, right? You're, you're taking it from, I mean, I'm not an expert on anything. Uh, I'm not an extremely high hour pilot, like, you know, five, six, seven hundred hours, something like that. Um, and my flying style is usually cross country mixed with light acro. So I can do wing overs and can do barrel rolls. So that's as much as I can do. That's what I'm looking for out of a wing. I want efficiency and I want to be able to get down when I'm feeling it. Yeah, and also my wing loading on this wing is 5.56 uh, kilograms per meter squared. So I'll be reviewing this wing from that wing loading perspective. So what I like about it, first of all, so this is a Sky Z blade. I probably should have mentioned that. It's probably in the title, but 18 meter Sky Z blade. Okay, so what I like about it, first of all, the, the quality. Um, this wing is awesome quality. All the stitching, uh, it's all double stitch. You can tell a ton of time went went, went into producing the wing. Um, it's a it's a thicker fabric. I don't know what fabric it is. You guys can look this up. This is not. I didn't do. I didn't look up all the stats on the wing prior to this. Um, but my initial impressions when I pulled it out of the bag were that it was it was awesome quality. The risers are nice and thick. Everything about it. It's got inside the belly. It's got the uh, little. I don't know what you call them, the little things inside the mail, and stuff like that, little things like that. Attention to detail, I appreciate. So the quality is number one. Next, and this is probably the main thing I love about this wing, is its launch characteristic. Even though I just said I had a shitty launch. Maybe it would have been worse without this wing, I don't know. But this wing launch is awesome. So I, prior to this wing, I owned an 18 meter Hadron, prior to that, a 20 meter Hadron. And I love the way those wings flew loved it but I I did not like the way they launched I was pretty open about that now now towards the end of my career flying those wings uh, I was good at launching them but they're not they're not an easy they're not they're not a forgiving wing so it didn't have forgiving launch characteristics if you pulled up you know one side of the wing earlier or you didn't check it when it came up in high wind it would overshoot you and tuck uh, it just required you to know that wing and, and be good at launching it. That was my experience. I've heard other people say it the opposite, um, but I, I I, was not a fan of the launch characteristics. And a lot of the flying I do, uh, or not a lot, but I do fly on the beach pretty frequently. And at the beach, I like flying in good, you know, 10, 10 mile an hour nominal wind up to maybe 15 uh, off the water. That's awesome. And in high wind, that Hadron would come up and just rock it up. You have to run at it, check the brakes. It's just like, a lot of work. I wasn't confident in it, right? I wouldn't want to land out on an island and have to fight this wing to get off of it. The Z-Blade, on the other hand, launches like a freaking dream. It, it's so easy to launch. It comes right up. It stops above your head. does not overshoot you. I got a lot of time kiting this wing, and it's, it's just awesome. It's a pleasure. I love it. And that is ultimately why I ended up selling the Hadron. So even though I like the way the Hadron flew better, the launch characteristics um, of this wing were, were so good that I ended up keeping this wing and flying the Hadron, which I just bought another wing today. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, um, but it's it's pretty gnarly. I'm pretty excited about it. Next, it's a unique wing. Um, it's unique in that there's not many Z-Blades in the U.S., right? If you're watching this from another country, I know they're popular overseas, but not here in the U.S. for whatever reason. And it looks amazing. So this wing, um, it, it's just sexy looking, um, and I'm very easy to spot in a crowd. There's not anybody with this wing with these colors. It's colored on the bottom. It's not white on the bottom. Uh, it's really, really a good looking wing. But it also has some unique features on it, like the uh, the trim system. It's linked into the speed bar system, so you can be trimmed in, engage your speed bar, and it automatically lets your trims out. Um, so you reach full speed with the speed bar. You get your full trim range just with the speed bar. That's directed at their slalom. Um, customers, so you could be on speed bar and then let the speed bar in and be trim neutral or trim uh, all the way in, and you get all that trim back, and you can make a tight turn and then push the uh, speed bar back out, and you're right back at full speed. So um, I like it because it's like a decent safety feature. Um, you can't get in any trouble with uh, engaging the speed bar with the trim in. Some wings have that problem. The Hadron did. The Hadron, the the trimmers and the speed bar did the exact same thing. Uh, you know, and a lot of ones are like that, but it's a cool feature. Um, next. Uh, it's pretty fast. 
So it's not as fast as the Hadron, it's maybe a couple miles an hour slower. So not only is it an easy launching wing, uh, but it's pretty quick too. I think I think I gauged it at like low low to mid 40s on speed bar. So uh, it can keep up with, with pretty much anyone out there. Um, and it is a spicy wing, which I like. I like to be able to get down, you know, wing overs, barrel rolls when I want to. I love carving down low and, you know, swinging that wing back and forth over my head. I love that. Um, that kind of flying really appeals to me, so I look for that in a wing. I will say it's not as spicy as the Hadron or the free ride or anything like that. So it's not going to, it's, it's just not. Um, for the same size wing, those, the 18 meter Hadron, and they, if there's an 18 meter free ride, I don't know, I've only ever flown a 16, but for any given wing loading, the Hadron and the free ride are spicier than this wing. Yeah, and then my last thing, kind of to sum it all up, is it's a great all around wing. So if this is the only wing you're going to own, uh, it's awesome because it's kind of a good compromise between all those features, right? You don't sacrifice a good launch for super spicy, high aspect ratio, something like that, and, you, and vice versa. So you get a great launch wing. It looks good. It flies good. It's really just, uh, it, I, I love it. It's an awesome all-around wing. I'm not, I don't have any plans to sell this wing. I usually buy a wing and sell them after 20 hours or something, but I'm hanging on to this one. I really like it. Um, dislikes. So we're getting to the airport here. This is our LZ. So I'll just go over the dislikes really quick. There aren't many anyways, and they're kind of nitpicky, but uh, the first one is the brake pressure. This is the main thing I don't like about it. It's got a heavy brake pressure. So to get to get it to flip over like the Hadron and the Freeride, uh, you know, those spicier wings, you got to really give it some brake pressure. So uh, it's not as, like, flickable as those wings. And I don't like that because, you know, at fly-ins, when I'm doing that all weekend, uh, at the end of it, my shoulders are usually hurt me, and I gotta bury the brake, and I hit my arms uh, on these um, on the swing arms of the paramotor frame. So it's just, eh, you know, it's it's a little tough in that sense. Next, it didn't come with much. It, I, the bag it came with, I love. I said that in the first video. It's an awesome, awesome like rucksack bag in the inner bag. All of that, awesome. But it didn't come with like ripstop tape, extra line set, anything like that. It came with a t-shirt. But I like I like a wing, like my Revo. My Revo 3 came with a full extra line set. Uh, my Hadron came with at least one extra A-line, and it came with a ton of ripstop tape. So I like I like a wing to come with accessories. Um, so again, nitpicky, but it's something that, that the wing didn't come with. And that could be because I bought it secondhand too, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that the guy I bought it from gave me everything it came with. I kind of mentioned this in the likes category as well, or touched on it, but it doesn't seem to carry the same amount of energy through the bottom of wing overs and barrel rolls as the Hadron or the free ride do. So it makes you kind of work a little harder to get back up over the other side, um, which is good safety-wise, because it's not gonna whip you around if you're not ready for it. So if you're you know, more intermediate um, in, in your acro, which, which I am, I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I'm good at wing overs and things like that. Um, but if you're like learning wing overs, let's say, this is a good wing, I think, to learn them on because it is high energy, so you, you get that kind of forgiveness um, in that sense, but it doesn't whip you around the, into the next one. Uh, and then finally, this wing is black and orange, so this is only for black and orange wings, but this particular wing, that black, is a pain in the ass to keep clean. I lay it down on a parking lot or on the beach in the, the, that talc sand stuff, whatever. It, it doesn't stain the wing, it just sticks on it until you wipe it off. I usually use like a wet t-shirt or something like that to clean it. Um, so it's hard to keep clean. I think that's it. Yeah, and that was perfect timing because we're at the airport. So yeah, not a huge exciting video flying-wise. I'll leave the camera on and stuff like that and see what we get. Maybe I'll talk some about something else. But um, the 18-meter Sky Z-Blade, man, it's awesome all-around wing. It's hot but not too hot. Oh, yeah, another unique feature, the brake. forgot this. It's got built-in 3D steering, it's called, right? So you could have the brake here and twist and get your brake, your, uh, your, your, your tip steering, which is pretty awesome. So, yeah, good all-around wing. Love it. And, yeah, I'm going to find a good place to land here. I really don't know which way the wind's coming from, but I'm going to come down on the side of the runway over there. Flags aren't moving. That's the only bummer about landing at places where you didn't take off from. There's no wind sock. I think we'll be all right. This 
misjudged it. God dang it. So I was trying not to touch my throttle there uh, for that spot landing. But uh, I wanted to touch down right after the ditch. And I think I was going to touch down like right at the end of the ditch. Maybe in it. So I'm going around. <laughs> I'll give myself a little more room. I'll aim for midway. But that was a good landing uh, direction anyway. At least I know that. Oh, yeah. I got it. We, I got it this time, boys. Oh, for days. I'm going to overshoot now. See? Whatever. This is it. I'm not going around again. Get out of Justin's way. We can land right here, too. Don't fuck up, Justin. Coming in hot. Oh, but beautiful. Do it off the tarmac. Oh, new wing on the hot pavement. Cool. Successful landing at Somerville Airport. <laughs> Still rolling. Ow! <laughs> what an amazing night that was. My hair's always really messy after I fly, but yeah, man, that was awesome. I knew tonight was gonna be like this. I knew it was gonna be nil wind. Wind sock dead. I knew it was gonna be dead like this. When it's dead like this, you can fly down that road we were flying down, drag your foot. Look at this. I destroyed my shoes. Wrecked him. Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. Anyway, yeah, just an amazing night. So that was my thoughts on the Z-Blade. Um, like I said, great all-around wing. Not selling it. I did buy another wing. I will tell you that it is 
another sexy wing and it is gonna be for good weather only. But uh, I think that's it for this video. Um, I always forget to mention it, but like, subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, follow me on Instagram, Tom Kubot. I post way more there than I do here. So um, thanks for watching. Peace, guys. Thank you.